with the snow and sleet and freezing rains, what they can do to the roads here in Connecticut, especially you, Miss Traffic Girl. That's true, but winter weather can also wreak havoc on our vehicles. NASCAR legend Larry McReynolds recently shared some tips for staying safe on the roads. Good morning, Larry. Thanks so much for being here on CT Style. No, Teresa, thank you for having me. All right, so we know that the temperatures are getting colder and you really have to adjust when it comes to your car. Are there some preventive measures that we should take? Well, I think it's safe to say, especially in New England, old man winter has absolutely arrived. And the first thing I want to address is the radiator fluid. We have to protect it from cold weather. And I recommend that Prestone 5050 antifreeze and coolant. It's diluted. It's mixed. All you have to do is pour it in. I know something I take for granted on my vehicle, Teresa, are the wiper blades. And if they're skipping or streaking, not doing their job, change them absolutely right now. But a great maintenance schedule on wiper blades is just change them every six months. You need to raise the hood. You need to look at the connections at the battery. If you're starting to see some of that corrosion, that can hurt the cranking of the car. Just take a steel brush and just clean those connections and you'll be good to go. And obviously, as we get into cold weather, the engine oil gets very thick, almost like syrup or molasses. You need to absolutely make sure you're using the proper oil and every regular oil change. And I kind of like, especially this time of year, the Formula Shell 10W30 engine oil. All right, I want to ask you, there's a big debate here at our station about snow tires. Is it necessary or what really do we need to know about tires in the winter? Well, I, I certainly can't say snow tires are a wrong thing to have, especially in the area that you guys are. But whether it's snow tires or regular tires, as the temperatures drop, the air pressure in the tires drop. And a good rule of thumb, Teresa, is for every 10 degrees of decrease in ambient tip, you're going to lose about a pound of air pressure in your tires. Now, you can open the door jam, and it will give you the proper inflation that that calls for those tires to be inflated to. And also at Home Depot, you can purchase the HUD. Husky digital tire gauge. It has a digital readout that has a light with it, and pretty much everything that Husky sells at Home Depot, a lifetime guarantee. A little bit of insurance for the tires, something to hold on to in the trunk year round, is that aerosol can of, of fix a flat. It's it, that way if you have a tire that's maybe very low, maybe not completely on the rim, you can pretty much fix it yourself with a can of fix a flat. So in addition to the fix the flat, Larry, what other items should we have in the car in case of an emergency? Well, I'm going to give you something that you should have there like the roadside fix-a-flat year-round. Maybe like a set of jumper cables, the Orion emergency kit. It has things in it like cable ties and duct tape, a first aid kit. It has flares. It has a bright safety vest in case you're broke down right at the edge of the road. And always have a flashlight. It never fails. You cut the flashlight on, the batteries are dead. So always keep an additional supply of the Duracell quantum batteries. Now, as far as winter time, thinking about being stranded in ice or snow, maybe a small board in the trunk to get traction. Maybe you can get your own self out of the snow. And things like water, snacks, gloves, even a blanket to stay warm until someone can come rescue you. All right, Larry, thank you so much for being here. Where else can we find some additional info? All right, yeah, you can find it at homedepot.com, but if you're shopping at Home Depot, maybe for your home for the holidays that are winterize your home, everything, Teresa, that we've spoke about, you can buy right there at Home Depot. It's like one-stop shopping. We like that. Thank you so much for being here, Larry. Happy holidays.